I'm asking you to marry me. I can't put it simpler than that, oh, can Jake, I? if you knew how I'd waited for this moment... I feel so plain and inadequate when he isn't beside me. You look very so dishy today, Miss Thompson. Just apply the cream liberally to face and neck, and within 24 hours, all those unwelcome blemishes should be bronzed and beautiful. She won't mind. Well, it's a perfect fit, isn't it? Tummy bug. <clears throat> Everyone's going down with it at school. And I doubt many of them are eight weeks pregnant. Oh. Can you feel anything yet? Like what? You know. It. Inside. <laughs> it's only about an inch long. With that. Not much to shout about, is it? Am I supposed to be at size? I must be. Anyway, I told you it's somewhere. Oh, yeah. The fetus at eight weeks. Are you sitting comfortably? At eight weeks, the major organs of the fetus are formed. The heart is beating. The circulatory system is well established. The chest is fully developed. The brain and spinal cord are still growing, as are the jaw and mouth. The head of the fetus is still very large in proportion to the rest of the body. The eyes and inner ear are developing. The nostrils are forming. The face is just recognisable. The limbs are developing in a rudimentary form.
treats. Treats! Treats! Wallies! Yours, I think. Thank you. See you around. All creeps, are they? You've cracked it there, love. He's made the first move. It's up to you to make the next one, right? Oh, oh, it's been splashing out. It's not the size, it's the quality. Oh, it's the shell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. Come on, well, you only get married oh, once, That's don't you? You better do. I ain't forking out oh, this law again. Come on. 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 Tell me You'd better lock this light up, love, before someone takes time to me. Yeah, I will. Thank you. All of you. Good luck. Take care. Take care, darling. Bye. What's the matter, Kev? It'll be all right on the night, won't it? I envy you, you know. Kid on the way, husband, home of your own. While the rest of us are still knocking about waiting for something better to come up. Or someone better. <laughs> You're all set up, aren't you? Set up for life. Is your marriage turning into an old wives' tale? Don't let dirty dishes trap you. Household chores enslave you. Now cleanup time gives a new meaning to women's liberation. Yes, only cleanup time's unique cleansing action can leave you totally free. Free to spend time with your husband, your children, your hobbies. Yes, girls, cleanup time is no old wives' tale. It's women's liberation at its best. Oi, I was watching that. Turn the telly on, man. By the ninth week, the fetus is rapidly maturing. The eye and eyelids are developed. The growth of the inner ear and the mouth still continues. The nose is quite recognisable. The limbs are also developing rapidly. Hands and feet have taken on a rudimentary shape. Sometimes the beginnings of fingers and toes can be discerned. 
Hey. Just look in love. <laughs> Michael, if you really love me, hold me so you'll never let me go. If you've quite finished, we have as it happens. We're thinking of striking. Striking? Yep. Peace until 10 plus. Well, the school won't discuss our demands, won't even agree to meet and talk about them. So we're thinking of striking until they do. And we want you to back us. Well, <laughs> I'll think about it. In other words, you're just going to sit on the fence. If that's what you want to call it. And what about you? Did she do all the talking for you too, or what? No. You can count me in. Oh, boy. Come in. It's all in a good cause, you know. Oh, sure. And I'm sure it makes you all feel very important. I just don't happen to think it is. Do you think we're enjoying this? Standing around with placards, everyone laughing at us, missing classes, threatening our exams, everything. It's not important in itself. There's a very important principle involved. And if you can't see that, you're as blinkered and stupid as those girls you enjoy reading so much about. Amanda, forget her. It's your life, remember? Come on. Come on. Give him a smile. She's right. He really is special. I wonder what he's thinking. Boy, she's quite something. This might just be my lucky day. Of course it is. Anyway, she happens to want it. 
or thinks she does. to get it. Oh, luck didn't come into it. Terry's uncle pulled a few strings with the council. He said he wanted us to have the best possible start in life. Just one, don't you, really do. Right. Will you try and keep still, right. Catherine? This isn't easy, I'll you know. know. Did you really wear it for your wedding, Mum? <laughs> Most certainly did. And I saved it just for this very occasion. See for yourself. Mum, don't cut it too short. I haven't got my shoes on yet, have I? I I'm not doing. I really am not doing. All I'm right. cutting it with plenty of room for a handle. All right. Seems a shame cutting it down. Well, it's more suitable for a registry office wedding. She doesn't want to be too overdressed. I don't see why it has to be a registry office wedding anyway. Why can't it be in a church with the proper ceremony and things? Well, because for one thing, I haven't set foot in a church since the day you were christened. And another, a white wedding in my condition would be just a touch hypocritical, wouldn't you say? She'll be able to work it out for herself after it's born, won't she? Everyone will. And it rained, do you remember? <laughs> well, it showered. Your mother. <laughs> she went on about how it was bad luck and all that sort of thing. And she found that hip flask in your father's back pocket. <laughs> and they rowed all the way through the reception. <laughs> and I cried in the toilet. Just like a schoolgirl. Now that was because I knew one part of my life was over. I wasn't very sure what was to come. Oh well. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? The most important day in a girl's life, absolutely ruined. Just because of childish fear.
dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God himself, signifying unto us the mystical union. According to the law of this country, is the union of one man and one woman voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. To live together according to God's law in a holier state of matrimony. I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Will I love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present to witness Wilt thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him, in sickness and in health? You are now joined as husband and wife. I pronounce that they be man and wife together, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Not so quickly undone, though, is it? They always make me sentimental. Do you know, the next time I get this out, it's going to be for Amanda. <laughs> well, this is it. Barbara, here we come. I never thought I'd be sorry to see the back of this room. You have to go on your own from now on. No more big sister to cramp your style. Go. I missed that train. Kath, you're happy, aren't you? What do you think? Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 thanks a lot. Well, 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 Is Amanda beginning to see the light? Will Catherine weather the storms ahead? And will Gary ever pop the question to be continued? <laughs> 